Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are testing out the Bouge RV's Yuma 100W. It is a CIGS or Copper Indium Gallium Diselenide Thin Film Flexible Solar Panel and I have the 100 watt solar panel with the pre-punched hole version here today. It also comes in the adhesive back version as well. Now it has high absorption rate even in overcast, shaded, or low light conditions. It is flexible, so it can fit on flat curved surfaces. It is IP68 waterproof and it has a 23% efficiency rating. So the 100 watt solar panel measures in at 40 inches by 24 inches. The thickness is only 2.1 millimeters or 0 0.08 inches. And it comes in at just four pounds, very lightweight. It is also glass free, so nothing will break even if you stand on its surface. It is also available in the 200 watt version as well in both the adhesive back and the pre-punched hole versions. Now the maximum power for the 100 watt panel is 100 watts. The maximum voltage or the VMP is 25 volts plus or minus 5%. The maximum current or the IMP is 4.01 amps plus or minus 5%. The open circuit voltage or the VOC is set to be 31.5 volts plus or minus 5%. And the short circuit current is 4.32 amps plus or minus 5%. So taking a closer look, it is super thin. Two millimeters is like the carbon fiber side plates for the FPV camera on a racing drone. And this panel looks and feels even thinner than that. Now it is equipped with the industry standard MC4 connectors. And if you have one of these multi-connector cables sold separately, it will be compatible with various types of power stations and solar charge controllers. And because of the industry standard MC4 connectors, you can connect more than two of these solar panels in series to increase the voltage or in parallel to increase the amperage. Okay, so I got the solar panel on an angle facing the October sun and it's a very nice day. And I got my multimeter hooked up right here and I still got my seven in one connection cable hooked up to the MC4. So I'll just use the Anderson plug here. Easy access. Let's see, going down. Come on. Okay, so the open circuit voltage I'm getting is 25.8 volts. Okay, still got the solar panel on an angle. This time I got it hooked up to a power station with the seven in one cable. So let's check it out. What is the incoming wattage? 92% full. Incoming wattage is 100. I just briefly saw it and there it is, 103 watts. Not bad. It will be full in 72 minutes. That's pretty good. It delivers what it promised, 100 watts plus. Nice, in October sunlight too. Oh yeah, very nice. Okay, still producing 101, 102 watts. And incoming amperage is 4.69, 4.70 amps. And now let's check the voltage with a load. Okay. 
So it is 20.1 volts with a load. So the reason you buy one of these thin film flexible solar panels instead of the regular hard framed traditional solar panels like these is that you don't need to have a bracket to mount the solar panels to whatever surface you are mounting it on. So I have here three 100 watt hard framed solar panels on the roof of my van and they are mounted onto the roof racks, which works fine. But just take a look at that. It screams solar panels. And where there's solar panels, there's either a power station that it is hooked up to or a battery system with an inverter that it is hooked up to. And in my case, I have both. So the hard panels let everyone know that you are either camping in your car or living in your car like some people do. Now the good thing about them are that they can be tilted even after they have already been mounted, depending on how they are mounted, of course. Now it is a very aerodynamic, even though they are tilted. I have them tilted, not for aerodynamic reasons, but to get more sun exposure when I park facing the sun during the winter months. Now these thin film flexible solar panels either gets mounted via the adhesive that it already comes with or via the mounting holes. So they can be mounted flush onto the surface, which makes them super aerodynamic. And the solar panels are not gonna be visible at all from the ground. And because they are flexible, they can be mounted on any flat curved surface, like the curved rooftop of a trailer, car, or even a boat. So nobody will know that you are camping out or that you have a battery slash inverter system or a power station inside. So one of the negatives is that it cannot be tilted once it is mounted, unless of course the surface that it is mounted on can be tilted like a camper rooftop. Now, but the positive thing is that it is lightweight, particularly for that particular type of a surface mounting. And another negative is that it gets hot due to not having a space between the solar panel and the mounting surface for ventilation to cool it down. So you win some, but you also lose some benefits versus the hard framed solar panels. So that'll do it then for this video of the Bouge RV's Yuma 100W, the CIGS Thin Film Flexible Solar Panels. So I thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.